hello everybody and welcome. I am the Beta Plan and this is a Muzion campaign within Total War Warhammer. Who which I promised that this episode is... we will be attacking Kolak, but yes. we're going to do that in a little bit of an odd fashion. What I want to do is what? I want to put Froy behind him. And I want the Red it's Duke right. to attack him from as far west from him as possible. I oh, do this so in order to make sure that uh, he doesn't flee back to Archeon, but back into our little hands. And uh, you know what, I'm gonna want to resolve this. Because I want to do a little bit more this episode than I did last time. We didn't actually lose that much in the units. We didn't lose either, but that is still... Well, that's just no replenishment at all, man. He still actually bypasses Froy. I thought you couldn't do that if one ascendant. of the attacking armies wasn't On that way. side. Well, we'll just have to see what happens then in that case. And our last little point for the Red Duke goes into his hit points because, well, he has been losing some of them at times, no, hasn't he? What are you going to do, Archeon the Ever Chosen? You're going to move in to me. I won't be able to do this. I know that. So we're gonna retreat twice. The auto resolve already kinda gave that away, but now they are both in my territory. This is going to be really difficult. But I believe Froy does have one major advantage here. Oh, and now great, now the Brayards are coming as well. Eliminate Archeon the Ever Chosen. Well, luckily, these are not on my territory, but I'm going to have to. They probably trespass pay. over here. Yeah. Then go. So, vampire counts. Can I get Max military access for? Mostly waxes. Of course. I was expecting you. I need to add to this offer, but I really would like to get to your territory with. Really? I really would like to get to your territory. It's not aggression pack then. Rejected. Let's use the non-aggression pact and I'll add cash to it. They've accepted that offer. Alright. Now, you're gonna be pissy, but I need to get through your lands for a moment. March. Because you won't give it access to me. You have so many armies over here. Use them! Recuse them. But yeah, I need to get Kemlar back to where he should be. I now, you know. stayed in the same territory. Yes, my So we had sire. a little bit of replenishment, and you oh. only had disadvantages. Yes. And I believe that I you, my darling, Froy, you actually have lightning strike, which you do. Which means we'll, we can kill Kolak. Let's first do the other little bits, though. Um, you, you're gonna stay in Castle Artois for some time. Unfortunately, I uh, have a little bit of an issue here. And uh, you, I, I think you were for Kemmler, right? I know Kemmler already has it. No, what he has, mine misses one. I believe this was Kemmler's vampire. Yes. Wild eyed. No, this seems more like a combat vampire as meant for Isabella. Did we lose an Isabella vampire in between? I am Darkness. Slightly confused. Wild eyed. Oh, this is the ma magician. Okay. Uh. And Isabella has different type of magic, so that that can definitely work out, but we'll take campaign movement. I guess we're gonna put you in Isabella's armies as well. Who, Isabella, who is going to have to move to here and wait for two turns until Leone can actually give her blood knights. Because that still is going to take some time before they're finished. And I forgot that Languiel was destroyed, so I can't get the proper building uh, uh, I didn't build a forest in here so we can't get any more our top units for 
lot over here. So we're gonna have to get them from here. Because if we do that, we can get them also with a lot of experience. So we... I don't know if these guys are ever going to fight this wave of Chaos, uh, Chaos Warriors, but hopefully the next wave they can participate. And that is all I can say. And I'm terribly sorry that I have to violate your borders, but I've asked nicely if you want a non-aggression pact, but you were just not... You have been granted it. access to the halls of Athel Lauren. They reject for a moment. Well, we'll, we'll, well, we can see about that later on. The Vampire Counts are just going to have to accept yes. currently the situation. You're going to go over there. Strike out. I hunt. Yours is power I follow. And you're going to Lightning Strike and see what that does. Lightning Strike removes... Oh, but it also removes the Red Duke's army. Oh, I fought the... I'm still gonna lightning strike this. I'm gonna trust in Froy over here. I'm gonna trust in Froy over here. Colic Sun Eater is going to be terrific, scary. Choose whatever word you want here. But um, he has so little units on the other. Uh, for the rest, that I am going to gamble this. And now it gives the, the balance of power to me. But Colic is going to destroy. Several units over here. This is unfortunate, but it's just gonna be what it is. You guys are the ones that are going to have to attack Kolek, so I need to make sure you don't die before that battle takes place. Oh man, I am shaking in my booties. This battle is gonna be fierce. We need to rely on the Corps Shard, and we need to rely on you guys to take out their infantry to tie up probably their chariots as well. I expect to lose units here, just so you know. There we go. There we go. We don't even see them. They are hiding? Interesting. Oh, Kolak! Sun Eater! Where are you hiding? Oh, we see them. There they are. Uh, you are scary. This guy, look at him. His armor is 111, for instance. It's, it's, Kolik is nuts. Like, just uh, straight up nuts. And he is moving towards my cavalry, which I absolutely don't want him to do. Okay, he has moved away again, good. Mind AI, where are you gonna go? No? Okay, then I'm gonna put it over them over here. Go into the house. Doom! Move away. The house got a pounding right now. Move back into the house. And then move into the chariot that's coming, apparently. No? Okay, move back. Uh, 
Ah, they trapped, captured one knight in between some chariots. Too bad. One unit down, though. And the problem is you're also anti-large. This chaos of halberds. Where's Kolak? Kolak is over there. We are shock cavalry. There is a reason why I'm doing it this way. I know that some people of you are going to say, but you do this all the time and it also always goes so bad. Yeah, well, I can't do everything. Oh, darn it. They change, they, they change their backs to me. Cool. Back, back, back. Move on. Hardly did any damage to the chariot. That is just bad to see. We can't get through the chariot's armor. Okay, I guess that that is not gonna work forever then. Go there. They said it would be hard, but I. I'd hope that my knights would give me the edge, but... Well, we can still try and hack a little bit. I'm just surprised on how little damage they... They did, like, no damage to this chariot. But that is just... Ugh. Well, we, we gambled and took a chance. Let's hope it doesn't it do, does pay off. Oh, uh, you are so scary, Colex Sun Eater. I don't like having to fight you at all. Touching me over here. But letting me do my thing for a moment. Hit it from the back. Surround them. Can't reach them. My units are too far away. Be careful with these guys, because they're armor piercing. And there's Kolak. Get out. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Get out! Yay, yeah, Golik is moving away. Attack the chariot again. Froy, I, I uh, not this is this yeah, this is Froy. Good. Yield up. And finally the chariot is getting itself a little destroyed. We're still with two of them though. Gotta be careful now because now we're just really challenging them. One problem that Kolak also has is he is quick. 
It's not like a slow moving hero or what have you not. A slow moving melee expert. No, he is darn quick. battle but <laughs> if I lose the army I will be at such a disadvantage okay so the chariot is broken now to break this guy forever all right we'll run this off as well still just standing there doing nothing they're being chased and I think they're broken no, they're not broken yet. They're still red. Still regaining moral. Go, go, go. Chase them off. Head them off. If you would head them off and pick up speed, I would like it. Fine, triple speed this. These marauders are annoying. Okay, so they've gone off the field nonetheless, despite not being broken. Okay. No, they're not. They're over here. They were just hidden. much better than the first chariot because they were just full health and in one group and these guys have now also joined the fray but the helberts are moving in so we're gonna go out we're out eat because of these guys these guys chaos warriors with helberts not gonna fight them warhounds have been rushed off though Running away again. Very brave strategy for the undead. But it's working, so... Why would I change up my strategy right now? I mean, they finally got a stand there still. Yes, they are. Boom! That's them. That's one unit gone. There we go. Balance of power shifting ever more into our favor. And we have enough knights to still do what we need to do. And my knights this time are catching them. I saw at least a few of them being caught by my knights. Chariot sending in and out again in the Helberts, which is annoying, but the Helberts are too slow to actually catch up with this lot that is running away. They have been buffed. Yeah, that's cool, but I have way too many Black Knights. Boom! Yeah, that's them. They're caught. They are off the battlefield, or at least destroyed. Good. These guys have run off. The other ones have died. Time to catch um, heal from Froy, our vampire mother. And then we can see what we can do about the rest again. 
at least I have the feeling that we are winning this battle. Simply by outmaneuvering our enemy. Come on, triple speed this. We'll triple speed this. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Not exactly hitting all the units. That's annoying. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Golik is out there. Get away, all of you. I. Well, he hit once. I'm afraid I've dared the beast too long, and he is moving in. All right. Go. Time to see what we can do to Cole like a Sun Eater. It is this dude that I fear incredibly. And we will move in with these units as well. Go over here, please. Let's go. This guy can do so much damage. Surround he's still not losing a lot. Here you go, you now have the regeneration capabilities of the corpse guards. And you will start fighting these guys. Not sure what hit uh, Freud over there. But yeah, mm, these units are gonna get a little bit of a blow here. I'm going to let Froy help over here because I'm afraid their leadership otherwise might fill. But Golden Sun Eater is starting to waver, which is very, very, very good. Uh, there we go. Sorry about that sound. That was me picking up my cat who was a little too curious what was going on and why I was so excited. What? Which I can't really blame him. Ooh, the great weapons. Uh, Kolek, are you... You're being chased off. You can go here. Corpse Guard, if you could go and come over here. Thank you very much. All of you take that. The exception of the Knights, once again, chase Kolek. In fact, actually don't, because if you do, he might come back. Yeah, let him waver. Let him come back for the moment. Ooh, the damage. Good neck is present. Yes, awake, minion. There is Golik. Let him come back so that we can actually kill him. Otherwise, that would be. This would have been partially a pointless battle. You are now just getting destroyed, Chariot. There is Golik dying. Or, uh, losing heart. Let's go. Chase Golak. He's the most important one, actually. Possibly should have... Yeah, he's too fast. A night unit there, a night unit there. He's gone, he's gone. Never mind. Join all forces. Close by. Yeah. Ooh, Froy got hit. I don't know what you got hit by, darling, but, uh... Ouchie. You're hurt. You are hurting. End battle. Now, if it's lightning strike, I don't know if they can run away or not, but that is definitely Kolek's army once again defeated. The size of victory. 
Well, we definitely need replenishment. We won't be able to handle Archeon this way. Uh, he is still alive, apparently. Follow me. <laughs> uh, we could attack him one more time. What? That's definitely was something we're gonna do. Uh, I thirst. We're gonna do that with the Red Duke. Let's do it like this. That's fine. And that is collect the Sun Eater down. That is yes, right. I hunt. You go there. And you go there. In you fact, dare. I'm gonna Who put you over there the so you can at least support one another. You might be tired, but at least you are together. And I'm not sure if Archeon, the ever chosen. Enjoys both attacking both of these armies. All right, let's see what we can do for you. We were busy with elusive. There we go. Now? I don't know yet, Troy. I will we'll have to decide if it's now or not. Um, let me see here. We do want to get to transfix, right? Uh, raise that could be. Mm, getting you a little bit faster might not be bad. But first, I'm more interested in this. Um, yeah, let's give you a can of mouse. So we can go into transfix. Because I think we have everything we wanted here, right? Well, we haven't done this one yet, but... Local province and hero active success chance plus six. Yeah, it's good, but I kind of need to... I, I feel like I would really would like to upgrade a little further more her, her direct battle capabilities. And now this army is possibly in the back and he might be annoyed by that. So you, can you block his army? 40% chance. Success. That is amazing because that means that he probably won't be able to reach me. That is just amazing. What? And very, very nice. Uh, just assassinate him. Nice. Success as well. Uh, so that is going all the going well for us. That might mean that Archeon, the ever-chosen, won't be able to reach us. Which means replenishment for us and attrition for him if he stays in our lands. End the turn. Yeah. Oops. Had to look there. Chaos Undivided. What are you doing? You're moving a hero away. You're moving a hero there. So you're gonna annoy Garcel. Fine. Have it your way. But you didn't move, which means you suffered attrition. And darn it, there's another bloody... I heard in my lands. Why does it always have to be my lands? Um, Chaos Brazer, because after this you're going to get the Pocket Order building. Which is not a lot anyway, so yeah, let's build a Brazier over here. We do have a small army trying to prevent them from going anywhere over here. The first thing we're going to do, and what I welcome greatly, is to once again have Kemala nearby. Um, how much did the vampire girls hate me for doing that? Eh, they're still improving. They're, they still hate that I trespass, but improving the fact that I am starting to defeat Archie on the ever chosen and starting to annoy the heck out of chaos is uh, well received. Two low of success chance. All right. We'll see what we can do. He might go for Gorsell now, which is not preferable. Yes, but I'm already happy that we are had an extra turn of replenishment, and he has. He's just on the cusp of the water. I don't know if he's inside my border or not. Let's block the army again. Perfect. Darling, you are the bestest white a man could ask for. A banshee. Sorry, the bestest banshee a man could ask for. Block him again. Yes. Perfect. Get that replenishment up. How many turns? Four. Fine. 
I would love it if we could get it further, but... Ooh, if we could ambush... Comes. Hold on. Move. Roy, you are good at ambushing, aren't you? I know you have ambush chance increasements. Ancient cunning, ambush chance was 30%. Ambush chance success, 100%. 75. 100. Moving. Shoot, I didn't put you into ambush stance. Dance macabre. Nah, that's just dumb. Moving. Alright, go into Wiseman. Ascendant. Through the shadows. What we're gonna do is we're gonna lure Archeon to attack the Red Duke and while we have her. Roy, that is, in ambush stance, so he doesn't realize what is coming to hit him. And it's gonna hit him hard. Alright. That is the crazy army that we have decided to create for uh, Isabella, and we're waiting on Blood Knights. Cannot recruit. We're building the Relinquery still? Yeah, we are. Darn it. Um, Wow, and this is with you on the high speed. Okay. Uh, the bow will also move the hero, of course. Alright, that should work. Uh, I'm happy for that. Gorsell, you might get struck severely. I do not want to go and spend too much money on Gorsell right now. The garrison isn't good enough to do it. Well, it will help, but it won't do any damage enough, but Marienburg is getting a little, a little bit of a garrison. So I say we're gonna bump up that and uh, hope for the best. And Kevlar is arriving, so we have yet another Lord. Three armies versus one. That could definitely be in our benefit, or that is definitely in our benefit, so... Let's work on that. Langwell, what can you do? Yeah, let's, let's rebuild you to be the top center that I want you to be. This we will handle in a moment. You are giving them discounts. Alright. Vampire counts. Chaos undivided. Yeah, he moves uh, just a wee little bit. He's moving towards Gorsell, but... This time, I believe we will not make the same mistake. <laughs> well, that is my dream. Okay, so, Troy. Pan-Sylvanius borders. Very good. It will be done. For ambush dance. If you if you go out of it, ambush dance. How much do you need? Twenty-five percent chance. Twenty-five percent campaign move. If I go over here, track ahead. I can put you in ambush stance yes, and it should be fine. And then I think it is a good idea if we leave you in normal stance. And stand close to Archeon the Ever Chosen, but not immediately on him. Block the army again. That is three times in a row, 46% chance. Even if it was a 50-50, that is just lucky. Assassinate this guy? That's familiar. Yeah, can't win them all. Assassinate for your 3% chance. Familiar as well. Well, I'm, I'm more happier with the armies blocked than these assassinates failed. How are you doing, Wiseman? You are doing well in your, your vampiric corruption. We're actually spreading it again in this area. That is just amazing. And we're also building this up to be somewhat of a recruitment hub. You need more minions, you say. I could give you one more flyer. But only after you moved. Because I do want you now to move at a certain point. Find me, Grave Mouth. Mr. Kamala. There you go. Time is right. Ah, you, but uh, that won't be a good unit. Is there anything else we could raise dead here? Because of a battlefield that took place over here, apparently. And we can hire a big ass old one. Which which battlefield in here allows me to have Oh, is it Altorf itself? I don't see the battle sign, I see it over here. Ray's dead. I can't do it though. 
So I say we should. Uh, armor piercing. Very fast regeneration. The terror guys is the flying one. This is the walking one. The Vargul. Um, regeneration being his key uh, bonus. I'm gonna go for a terror guys. So that he has at least several flying monsters. So he has a little bit of an air force now as well. Well, well, well. Kemler, Kemler, Kemler. There you go, you move in. Let's get Chaos Undivided going. And I'm only going to declare a war on Mortland for which we have a mission. I am aware once that is prudent to us. You're Oh, you're also angry with the Vag, all right. Uh, you, however, what I wanted to do was... It is always a pleasure, a dubious pleasure, to welcome a fellow Lord of the Night to my domain. Well, I'm just gonna say, dubious pleasure is all I care for. Here you go. I'm going to give you a small gift. And with that small gift, I hope to improve your standing with me even more. Elves. Darkness follows in your wake. You are far from welcome here. Yeah, with those words, I already didn't expect you to be uh, too kind, but you are still improving in your friendliness. Come on, man. Try my best here. That I was not Isn't born with your longevity. It's not fair that you blame me for trying to do so. Uh, recruit units. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. The strongest knights available to us. We'll do one Mort's engine. Oh, we don't have money. Uh, well, but we do have money for Mort's engine, and we do one one. Because, oh, let me just show you the difference. This is the evocation of death. It's kind of hard to see. And here you can see that is mass regeneration. This guy doesn't have that, the black coach. The black coach is really, uh, uh, you can also see the, uh, the charge bonus on this guy versus the Mort's engine. This is more your damage guy. This is more your, your regeneration dude. Then again, I just realized. Uh, I just want to look at something for a moment before I decide, actually. You, your abilities, black nimble, causes terror undead, evocation of death. I can't click on that to understand what it does. That's kind of poop. I mean, we have already so many spellcasts in here, I probably don't need them, perhaps we do one of the black coaches. Just have them. Anti-infantry, armor piercing, but then again... I mean, these guys are anti-large. Yeah, you know what, let's go for a few of these guys as well. Have like, I don't know, six knights. So four more, 17, one more of this. Yeah, that, that, that will work out. Let's go. We'll, we'll hire some black coaches as well. And that's going to be Isabella's army. Uh, though, of course, she actually only has bonuses for the knights, right? Not for the corpse guards. No, it's for cavalry units. But you are cavalry, but the other aren't, so I shouldn't buy them. Well... No, be I should because <laughs> otherwise I have no anti-infantry. I mean, there are highly specialized armies, but there is also a limit about being crazy about doing certain things. You are still re recreating the hold so that you can get the strongest units, but I just really learned that you can also raise dead from over here, so... I, I just wonder which battlefield that is. Due to the presence of the, this battle site marker, Aldorf. Yeah, it is Aldorf itself, apparently. Okay. King of Darkness. And you're gonna go over here, because I want you to be the strong... army... That is going to make sure. Oop. Yeah, that's what I was going to look. Uh, look. That was what I was looking for. Strong army on the ground. Sorry, I'm now uh, I'm shifting in between three, four thoughts. Doesn't make it easier to follow me, and it's already somewhat difficult to follow my reasonings at times. I believe. Um, Mary Bird, I'm actually going to possibly stop your construction. Not gonna stop that construction. Anything over here in Astalia that we're building? I don't believe so, no. Oh, 
Yen Hergi. They're not willing to attack, but they're also not really... Ah, this is going to be annoying. I'm, I'm probably going to lose hair gig, but uh, that's okay. If we if we can stop chaos here, I am uh, pleased enough as it is. I didn't even realize you had gone up two levels. Uh, harassment. Attrition, minus 3% with under siege. No, inspector, income from buildings. Watcher. Let's target your own army. Yeah, I guess. Because you, I can't make you a well enough combat anymore. I mean, we've, we've spent way too many points on other things. Um, yeah, that we're losing this is not a problem. I do want some public order in Mermidens, though. So I do want the public order building over here. And that's what I am now looking for. Where can I... Obtain somewhere some cash from. I am going to cancel this because I'm also not sure on the black coach. And that should give us the opportunity to say, please build this. And with that, I say, I thank you for watching. And remember, great peril yields great beauty.